Talk of the Town is back for a week two recap. My name is Peyton Warner. I'm here with Nick Mosier. You're going to see a timer on the screen because we are going to be doing one minute recaps of every single game because we know TikTok has y'all attention span looking very, very slim at the moment. So we're going to start things off Thursday night football. Bills Dolphins, Moj. A lot of stuff happened, but talk to me about Bills Dolphins. Um, Tua forgot how to play football in the beginning. He was malfunctioning before he actually malfunctioned <laughs> in the game. It was not looking good. Picks galore for Tua to turn the ball over. I don't want to fry him too much because he is. I almost feel massively, bad. Yeah, he's massively concussed. I feel bad for Tua, but he should not be running and diving head first. No. He knows better. That is a CTE guarantee right yeah. there if you're gonna die forward head first to a you're a qb you're a franchise qb to a protect yourself brother i would Please. almost feel bad asking you to put him on the bozo list for that but i mean uh -oh. what are we doing to uh, i do have a bozo list uh, -oh. uh it's roger goodell <laughs> and the miami dolphins you pay him a, a you give him the brinks truck knowing that he can potentially uh, have a career-ending concussion and roger goodell is just gonna let him play he's gonna give him 16 lives we're starting things off with the 49ers and the Vikings. Um, I think the Vikings are, they could be sneaky good. And I think J.J. McCarthy getting hurt might be uh, the best thing that could have happened to them this year. Because Sam Darnold Revenge is looking tour. pretty good. He, listen, the Jets messed up. He was seeing ghosts in New York. But I think Sam Darnold is a good quarterback. He knows what he's doing. He has weapons. He has Jettas going 92 yards oh, to the man. crib. And then Jettas is getting hurt, but hopefully Jettas is going to play next week because you need Jettas. If they lose Jettas, they're going to completely collapse. But uh, listen, the Niners have been doing a lot of talking. Nick Bosa wants to chit-chat saying the mm. Jets weren't a good team. Buddy, you just lost to Sam Darnold. Stop it. Sick of the Niners. Kyle Shanahan. Uh, there's never a game plan. When he loses the Stars, he, he loses his scheme. So I'm going to put CMC. And Kyle Shanahan on the Bozo list. Wow. Because CMC, because CMC, listen, he's on my fantasy team. We're not disclosing injuries before the season. <laughs> I took him number two in fantasy, and I don't have him. I have to pick up random third-string running backs oh, no. to, to try to save my season. <laughs> Kyle Shanahan Bozo, CMC Bozo for not disclosing injuries and playing games. Uh, Seahawks, Pat, I mean, the Pats defense, uh, like I said, they're an annoying, gritty-ass defense. Um Went to OT. They pushed the Seahawks to OT. The Seahawks are a decent team, too. Yeah. Uh, like Sam Darnold, Gino has – he's on a revenge tour. He's on a revenge tour away from the Jets. Um, I mean, I think the Patriots at this point, if the, if the Dolphins have lost two for the year, they could finish above the Dolphins. They really could if they keep playing defense like this. In a year where I genuinely expected the Patriots to be horrendous – they go out there on the road, upset week number one. They're taking Seattle, which is a another, like you said, sneaky good team that could contend for a six or seven spot in the NFC. Patriots take them to overtime with a guy who is kind of a reject at quarterback, right? Like, yeah, Pitt, he's bouncing around. Pats fans were expecting Drake May to come in and just take the lumps right away, but Jacoby Brissett's going out there and he's keeping them in games. The toilet bowl game between the Giants and Commanders which was a good showing for... Jane Daniels, but Danny Crimes back at it again. Listen, the Giants are cooked. I'm not even going to blame Danny Crimes this week. I don't think he did anything wrong. I think he played proper football this week. Uh, Brian Dabble. Brian Dable. Dabble, however you want to say it. Joe Shane, the GM, are clueless. Your kicker gets hurt. You don't have a, a backup. You Somebody who can kick extra points. This was the extra point ball. That's what or the field goal ball and the extra point ball. What are we doing? Disgusting game. The Giants lose a game where the Commanders don't even score a touchdown. Jaden Daniels didn't even throw a pass more than 20 yards, and we lose the game. So right now, uh, Brian Dable, bozo list. Yeah. Joe Shane, bozo list. Yeah. Because they don't even know how to properly construct the football team to win a game when the other team doesn't score a touchdown. Disgusting. The absolute disgrace of a franchise. I really don't even want to talk about this one, but the Chargers went into Carolina and just – slap the Panthers around the Panthers are wearing white at home for some reason they're benching their number one overall pick in his second year I'm I have nothing to say most please just uh, uh well they're wearing white at home because they are ghosting they are not even showing <laughs> up they're trying to look like Casper the ghost uh anybody could beat the Panthers at this point I could probably strap up 
and uh, give the Panthers 150 rush, or <laughs> rushing and receiving yards against them. Honestly, uh, I don't even know if it's Bryce Young's fault at this point. You can't even dissect it. They're so awful. Um, I, that could be a worse trade than Deshaun Watson uh, at this point. If they're going to bench him, I don't know what's going on in Carolina. I don't even want to know what's going on in Carolina. I don't think I want to talk about them again no. the whole year. Honestly, I don't. So. With with the shot clock winding down, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and say, Chargers, watch out for the Chargers. Yeah, That's, Chargers, I'm just right. leaving it at that. Watch out for the Chargers. How about them Cowboys? Whack Prescott. No, nah, no. Nah, let me most please. <laughs> <laughs> most uh, please. Dak um, got the Brinks truck as well and looked clueless out there. Alvin Kamara. Running sick when he's not punching people in the face, he's <laughs> punching it into the end zone. Alvin Kamara, four tutties, 44 points for my fantasy team. Still caught it now. Disgusting. Oh, man. Uh, Derek Carr's looking like an MVP for some reason. He really is. Uh, um, and we are going to put Jerry Jones on the bozo list, Thank buddy. God. Every year. It's been 30 years. You haven't won anything, and you're acting like you're the big shots yeah. in the NFL. Stop it, Jerry. We get it, Jerry. You got a big stadium. We got bro. it, Jerry. Like, uh, Stop. Whatever, bro. Jerry world. Jerry we're world. Done. Okay. No, Where dreams done. go to die, Jerry. <laughs> we're you done. Know. We're done with Jerry's world. So my team goes into Lambeau, plays against a backup quarterback who I don't even know if he knows what his job is on the football field. He's just out there. And we lose 16 to 10. Do you have anything on this game before I get started? Uh, no, I mean, hey, Rich, I mean, Anthony Richardson, I think he just malfunctioned. Just like Tua, he had a malfunction, negative fantasy points. I mean, that's all I got to say. It was disgusting. Yes. And it was very, very poor performance. But what did I say last week about the run defense? The Packers ran the ball. Not 20, not 30, not 40, not 50, 53 times they ran the ball, five yards a carry. Josh Jacobs got the ball every single time, 151 yards, and we can't do a damn thing about it. You don't even realize how bad our secondary is because they don't have to throw the ball. I'm sick. It is sick, and I'd be sick too. I really would. But I, this is what I see every year from the Jets, so I understand. More things to be sick about, Browns, Jaguars played football. Uh, yeah, this game was kind of meh. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, I thought he would have uh, taken a step. Um, not happening. He's kind of he's kind of plateaued for some reason. Um, we've been waiting for the Jags to take that next step as a team. Uh, they have all these weapons. They're paying Christian Kirk fat money. I, I don't know mm. what the end goal is in Jacksonville. They have a pretty good head coach, but they just can't put it all together. I, I couldn't tell you. Just like it's it's a similar, it's a better version of Carolina right now. That's what it is. <laughs> Same state, similar teams. Honestly, it really is. Deshaun Watson, they won the game, so he's going to avoid most of the criticism this week, but yeah. just it's just not good. It's just not good. It's not. It's, um, I mean, the Browns, they, they have a good coaching staff. That's what it is. So yeah, they, they can do. get away with uh, a lot of bad play, but I don't know how long, long that's going to last, honestly. So 60 seconds on the clock to talk about the Jets. Go ahead. Okay, Jets. So we're acting like in the beginning of the game, Nathaniel Hackett, that Aaron Rodgers is Tim Boyle and Zach Wilson. What are we doing, buddy? Throw the ball. You have a generational quarterback, first ballot Hall of Famer behind center, and we're scoring zero points in the first quarter. Almost went scoreless. I don't even remember if they went uh, uh, scoreless in the halftime. I don't think they did. I don't even remember. But what are we doing, Nathaniel? Can we be more creative with, with the offense? Just let Aaron Rodgers go rogue at this point. Let him be the OC. Let him be the head coach. Let him be the GM. They barely squeaked by the Titans who were running all over them. Just like the Packers on the Colts. The Titans were running all over the Jets again. They barely get a dub. Thanks to Brees Hall and Braylon Allen. Honestly, it, was, it wasn't it was a pretty watch. I'm not satisfied with the W, but we'll take it. We'll see what happens next against the Patriots. Could be an L. Could be an L if they don't properly figure out the offense another game to be impressed by the bucks take a dub from the lions who seem to be one of the top contenders in the nfc but how do we feel about this um listen uh dan campbell needs to calm down dan campbell needs to settle down you can't be i i understand they converted the fake punt from their inside their own five or at their five dan we gotta He's stop insane. biting kneecaps buddy you gotta relax just play proper football 
This is why we're we're getting you're getting yourself into this these situations where you're going to OT and losing and losing games, and then you're crying in the post game interview, blaming it on yourself. I would be crying too, Dan. Calm down, please. And the Bucks, listen, the Bucks, they're heating up. They're cooking right now. They are cooking. Um, so honestly, you might you might have to watch out for the Bucks. They could make a, a little playoff run. I agree. The Bucks could be a scary team, but real they quick. Could. The, the the play differential for the Lions and the fact that they still managed to lose this game, 83-47 yeah. to 47 play differential. Bucks had that no is... offense going, and they still managed yeah. to win. Yeah, so you know what? I'm going to put uh, Dan Campbell on the Bozo list right now. Whoa! He's, border... He's borderline. No, we'll put him borderline Bozo. Okay, okay. He's creeping up to Bozo. Last game of the early window, a big question mark in terms of the winner here, Ravens Raiders. Ravens Raiders. Uh, uh, once again, what... What is John Harbaugh doing? <laughs> um, John, you have a, a great offense and, and a great defense with playmakers all over the field on both sides of the ball, and we're, we're own two, John. John, honestly, they might have to can John midseason. I'm not. Kidding. I was if, just about to ask: Are we are we on the hot seat for Harbaugh? We are, and and John John Harbaugh is major number one bozo because Ooh. you you have the uh, two time MVP at quarterback, and you're starting zero and two, very winnable games. Chiefs, okay, we'll give you a pass. The Raiders, John? At home. The Raiders. At home. At home, John. Okay, not Bozo list for John, number one. Needs to be canned. If they start 0 4, goodbye, Johnny boy. I'm, I'm hearing you, but I think what we also need is the opposite of the Bozo list. Whatever it's going to be, comment down below, but we're putting Gardner Minshew on it. The, let's, let's put him on the dog list. We'll call I it like it. I like list. it. Gardner Minshew, the dog. first ever on the dog, dog list. list. Let's go. Late window opens up just three games. Rams, Cardinals, absolute mugging. Listen, uh, welcome Marvin Harrison Jr. And uh, thank you, Kyler Murray, for realizing that your job is to find Marvin Harrison Jr. Wow, it's crazy. It's crazy, rookie. right? I don't, I don't care if he's 13 years old. <laughs> If he can do that on the football field, you figure out a way to do your damn job and get him the damn football, Kyler. Seriously, because he was pushing Bozo last week, and then he figured it out this week. So he saved himself a Bozo list uh, appearance. But, we, hey, he, he doesn't want to throw the ball to Marvin next, next week. It, it might not look good for uh, Kyler. It really might not look good. It was just so much of an absolute takeover in the first half that you look at the stats and they're completely out of whack. Like James Conner having 21 carries and Kyler yeah. only having 21 pass attempts. Like they were smacking the yeah, Rams around so much that you couldn't even identify why the Cardinals won if you look at the stat sheet. Yeah, no, it might be time for a uh, rebuild in L.A. Send Matt Stafford to Miami if two is yeah. dead. No, let him let him make one final run, get some picks, start the rebuild. Oh, why not? Steelers, Broncos. This is exactly what we expected from this game. So, what do we got? Um, I mean, Bo Nix. Bo Nix was. I don't even know if Bo Nix is the guy. And like I said last week, they have three pedestrian QBs, three pedestrian QBs on the depth chart. I don't know what direction they're headed. Sean Payton. I thought he was a quarterback guru. Clearly, that's not the case. Yeah, not too. And uh, the Steelers, that they, they did enough once again uh, to squeak by. Uh, but we're gonna have to give a, a bozo list to Russell Wilson again. I'm sorry, <laughs> he hasn't played. He's accepting game balls. He's accepting, buddy. I understand he, Mike Thomas called it the petty, the petty game ball because you beat the team that you played on last year, buddy. You didn't play again. <laughs> Justin Fields has taken your job. Unlimited benching, unlimited watching, unlimited spectating for the bozo, Russell Wilson. If I may, if I may, unlimited time unlimited. on the bozo list. Final game of the late window: Chiefs Bengals. What seems to be the best game all the time, close no matter what. Um, yeah, the Chiefs, they always they always find a way to win. Even when Pat Mahomes and Travis Kelsey, I don't think they've even they're not even awake this season. Two no. games into the year, they haven't done it. Travis they Kelsey, what did he have? Th under ten yards, thirteen yards. Did I, he I have a catch? Know. One catch? Uh, I think he had one catch, maybe. One and for five, I believe. Yeah. One I mean, they five. lose Isaiah Pacheco. They still get the job done. Carson Steele has uh, crocodiles or alligators. I don't know what exotic pets he has. <laughs> He's gonna have to spaz. Uh, Joey Burr. I mean, he he played. That was a great game by Joey Burr. Um, Jamar Chase is having meltdown on the sideline. But uh, you're gonna oh, that have pissed to pissed me off. 
Yeah, you're going to have to capitalize on the Chiefs' mistakes if you're going to want to win. You, and if you don't, uh, it's not going to happen. You're not going to beat them. They're they're too they're too seasoned. They're too seasoned. If you're not going to take advantage of their mistakes, so it's the, if the if the Bengals want to win a Super Bowl, you're going to have to figure out how to be like the Chiefs. Sunday Night Football, number one overall pick from this year, number two overall pick from last year. Caleb, like I said, this dude has more nails painted than completions this year, <laughs> honestly. But I don't know if I can – watching that game, the highlights, I don't even know if I can really fully blame him because they're all line is atrocious. He's running around in the backfield. I, that might be partially his fault too. He's he's not making decisions quick enough, and he's just ro- trying to roll out and, and throw it. Um, so I, I don't know if I should blame Bears O-line. Or, or Caleb Williams. A little bit of both. Um, a little bit of both. Yeah, he's a trying bit to, of both. He's trying to do stuff that he got away with in yeah. college. It's just not yeah. going to work. Yeah, you're not playing uh, uh, San Jose State. <laughs> you're not. Um, the Texans are pretty good. The Texans are rolling. CJ Stroud is a dog. We'll put him on the dog list. Oh. Uh, no Joe Mixon, though. They might have lost Joe Mixon. We'll see if he plays this week. But, I don't know. Texans have a lot of weapons. They'll be okay. They'll be fine. Monday night football final game on the slate. Falcons with a big upset win against Philly. Yeah, the the Eagles seem like they had it. Uh, home opener at in Philly, a, a raucous Philly crowd. Um, you had control of the game. You had control of the game. Nick Sirianni's getting cocky with C.J. Garner. Um, I don't know what happened, Nick Sirianni. You had control of the game, Nick, and then you're passing the ball to Saquon when you could have just ran the clock out, Nick. Sick and tired of Nick Sirianni. Cocky for no reason. Bozo Lynch. Yes, thank you. Sirianni. One of the biggest Bozo coaches. What has he done? I want to know what Nick Sirianni has done. Because he's done nothing. Sick and tired of him. Needs to stop being cocky. Somebody needs to humble Nick Sirianni before I write a nasty email to the Philadelphia Eagles organization. 60 seconds left on the timer for this outro. Thank you all so much for watching Talk of the Town. But before we go... Patriots Jets tonight Thursday night football five words or less winner and why um Aaron Rodgers too good all right Jets cool win. I like that that was that was six but I I understood yeah, right. what you were going for you didn't really have like to I say said, like I said I didn't go to school for <laughs> mathematics so it's not all up here sorry yeah yes yeah, Patriots run wow won't last. Oh, yeah, there it is. That's a good one. That's a good one. Jets. <laughs> yes. uh, I, that's I fine. Said, <laughs> I could have just said J-E-T-S. Yeah, that's cool. I'm cool with that. Yeah. All right, yeah. we got eight seconds left on the clock. Thank you all so much for watching this episode. We'll see you all for week three.